Tony Mel. Help us to fix this. Wait, which one do you want? Which one do you want? Um. Uh, like small rose. Um, green, green top. We got that. You join me on a um, very fresh winter's morning. Um, I'm just on the dam, just um, basically looking out, seeing if I can see any um, any sort of fish rolling. To be honest, there's quite a lot of silvers rolling um, all over. To be honest, I'm not sure if I want to get in here or not. It looks like the levels are really high. It's the highest I've seen it for, for ages. Um, normally I, I fish off the road bank um, out here and sort of fish out sort of 50 or 60 yards. I've done well off of there. The grebe is working this area, so clearly there's, a, there's some fish out there if he's working the area. Right then, I thought I'd just show you my main tactic um, in a little bit more detail. So, I'm using a block end feeder. These ones are great, they're really good for sort of distance fishing um, on big reservoirs like this. Two reasons, um, the weight's very, um, um, the weight's forward, so it's very aerodynamic. Um, for casting at range, I find these to be really good. Um, also, it goes straight down to the bottom so when you're fishing in deep water it gets it down quicker so the, the less less chance of the bait getting out before it hits the bottom um, I've got this on six pound line this is six pound um, diver sensor just uh, tough as old boots really simple and um, I find it is I just find it to be a really good line to be fair it's such a tough line um, it's been around for years and um, it's never sort of really done me any arm. I think the only thing with it is that it pays to change it probably every season as um, it does get a little bit springy once it's been used quite a lot. Obviously with this sort of fishing, fishing for bream, tench, roach, that sort of stuff, you, you're getting a lot of bites so the, the line is really sort of getting used a lot. Um, I've got a, a loop tied on the end of my main line, large enough to be able to pass the loop over the top of the um, feeder so that I can essentially have it quick change. I don't need a, a link or anything to be able to um, take it on and off. I can just pass the loop over the top and um, just loop it on so it's nice and nice and simple, nice and easy. Just to stop that getting caught up and to um, make it a little bit anti-tangle, anti, um, I've got a little bit of uh, tubing, a bit of silicon tubing. I just push it over the top of the swivel inside the um, the actual feeder there and then I've just got two teardrop beads 
um, with a little mini swivel in the middle of them and that rests just on top of the knot for the loop so it's kind of fixed there basically against the, the, the knot for the loop and that's just a figure of eight and then I have a short hook length about two and a half inches which is um, three pound mono to um, I think it's a size 18 hook which um, I've just been putting two maggots on and I've actually then got a anti-tangle boom which is about half the length of the hook length so that way when you cast out as you can see it pushes it away so it's nowhere near the feeder and this just spins around like a, a rotary helicopter setup so it's never going to tangle and it works really really well so um, obviously this nice nicely uh, quite nice and close to the uh, the feeder itself so when the maggots come out and that your your bait's basically just sat right next to it and gets nailed so um, that's the setup like I said the main line six pound um, I'm just using a little bait runner this is one of the um, Fox EOS 5000s great size for this sort of fishing and I've got my 10 foot um, 1.75 pound scope um, this is one of the Mark II's with a cool handle um, lovely rods um, brilliant for this sort of fishing so um, anyway I'm going to get it back out there Well, it's just putting out some bait and one of the rods has gone again for a carp. <laughs> ah. But I wasn't on the agenda. So this is the this is the little pop up. Cause um some of the guys when they've been carping have been getting I've had the old roach um, picking up their little 10 mil pop up, so I thought I'd put a pop up on one and just trim it down. Let's see what happens. I've got a size 16. Uh, it's a barbell hook, so it is a big, strong hook. Well, it's not big, it is a strong hook. 
and I did it for the purpose in case I picked a carp up. So yeah, I was literally just spotting out and I thought get a bit more bait out. I've had a few bites. I've actually gone down to two rods. Oh, it's come off. Damn. Oh, hello. Come on, that's a quick bite. Feels like a bream. That's a quick bite, cast it out. I was trying to tighten up to it, thinking why is it not tightening? Then realised the fish had already picked it up. This feels like another bream. I, um, I did say at the start of the year that I was looking at doing a lot more fishing for other species. I have been doing a little bit of fishing for other species, but I'll be honest, um, like my carp fishing, it's not been that successful. Um, I did have a personal best perch, just shy of four pound, which I was really happy with, and I may do a video on that eventually, uh, once I've got a little bit of other footage. Um, but today I'm, I'm after roach. I've been trying for about probably three years to catch a two pound roach out of sheer water. Um, I've had them up to one pound 14 and I actually did a session a couple of years ago where I had um, a huge bag of bream um, and roach. I had about, I think I had 40, 45 or 50 bream in um, just in a day session and um, I probably had half, half, half the amount in um, of roach but I had I had about 15 fish over a pound. It was an um, absolute blinding session. Um, just fishing sort of two rods on feeders and putting some spot out and then just keeping it going in. Um, really busy fishing, really active. Um, and it's great in the winter as it just constantly keeps you um, keeps you working and keeps you busy, keeps you warm and um, keeps, you know, within, keeps you interested. Um, I've only got one rod out at the moment. That's actually on a little 10 mil pop-up. Um, some of the guys carping have actually caught some decent roach on little poppets when they've been fishing for the carp. So um, I've kind of got that out specifically just to leave it and hopefully a bigger fish might pick it up. So far I've only had one roach. I've had about um, eight or nine bream. Um, and I've also lost um, a carp. Um, felt like a nice fish but I'm only using uh, 1.75 pound 10 foot scopes and um, 6 pound main line. So, um, I couldn't give it too much stick and um, unfortunately the, the hook pulled so it's it's quite a small hook I was using a size 16 um, barbell hook so it's a, a strong hook but it is quite a small hook so um, it probably just sort of pulled through the fish's mouth um, so yeah that was a bit unfortunate but um, it's been good so far I've had um, quite a few bites and um, I'm pretty happy with it so I'll keep you updated as I'm going along hopefully we can get that big roach
Everyone's gone. Went out popping, didn't we? A bit better size one that. Double tank. Double tank. Kettle's boiling. Looks like I might have double tank here. Yeah? Right, I thought I'd show you one of my my rig for um big uh, roach. So it's basically a little pop up on um an extremely fine sort of micro carp rig, if you like. So I've got six pound main line. This is just under six pound fluorocarbon. Little BB shot. Size 16 barbell hook. So it's a really strong hook. And then I've got a little bayonet for the boily. And this is a little strawberry pop up. Okay, so it just sits up off the bottom. I've got it wrapped at 20 wraps. There we go. Um, and I'm basically putting it over a mix of this um, MAGA pellet, some uh, sort of 12 more boilies, and then the other rods are on MAGA feeders. It's not a monster, it's a perfect old guy. Um, on the feeder, it's the second roach. 
a little bit bigger than the last one. So uh, hopefully this one at least maybe twice, three times the size would be nice. But um, lovely fish, only all the same. Probably the average size bream, to be honest. Um, some of them actually are probably twice the size of this, but um, it's about the average size I'm probably getting today. Maybe a little bit under average, actually. But, uh, plenty of them out there, so uh, for a fresh, cold winter's day, it's a good bit of fun. Right, there's another one. A little bit bigger than the last. And I've got one rod in the water now, it's just wiped me out, so I'm going to get some more bait out. See if I can get some more of these. I think I'm on about 20 or I think, maybe even more. Good day so far. Well, I'm just making up a bit of bait. Basically, I've just got a mix here of, like I said, pellet, some little boilies. Um, I've actually got some bread breadcrumb in there and um, a little bit of ground bait just lots of little bits and bobs and all I'm doing is uh, put in putting a bit in here so it's, it's full up to the top of there you can see where the uh, the tide line is essentially. So I have used quite a bit of bait. So put that in like that. I'm just trickling a few extra 12 minerals as well. And Job done. Okay, and what else I've been doing in, in the ground base is putting in a bit of this strawberry crush. Just mixing it in there. See if I can get a bit of this in there. as well and that's basically just to sweeten it a bit because obviously the bream are massively attracted by the fish mill whereas the roach tend to be more into the fruity bit
Average size bream and oil. Oh, he's got a tiny mouth. Oh, bloody hell, I've never seen that before. Why would I throw you that way? Do you then go the other way? Another typical size bream. Wow, a little bit smaller. An old block end rotary feeder rig. A little bit more weight to it, this one. Again, not big, obviously, but a little bit better than the last couple I've had. I think I'm probably in at 25, 30. That's a bit better. Nearly just under a pound and a half. That's a um, bit more the average size I'm after, really, for the roach, but um, cracking fish. Might have had a couple of braces today, but uh, there's a pair that I just had on the uh, maggot feeders. Whoa. Whoa. Right, and I bumped one off a minute ago. It's literally last knockings. Not quite sure what this is. It's darting around. Oh, it is a roach, look at that. Not very big one. Tiny little roach. Very pale fins, this one. The other, uh, the bigger one I had, had real bright bright fins but still a beautiful looking fish look at that perfect in miniature oh well we haven't got the uh the big one but get this going back Right then guys, I've sent that little fish on his way back home. And to be honest, I think it's probably time I'm getting home. I'm gonna just flick the rod out while I get the last few bits in the back of the car. And um, hopefully we'll have a monster before I go, but I don't think it's gonna happen now. Unfortunately, you can't really fish up to um, up to the dark at the moment. I don't know why. Um, I have pushed it a little bit more. It says five o'clock on the ticket. It's probably half five, getting on towards six now. But to be fair, if I left at five, I would got stuck in traffic. It was still quite sunny at that point as well. And um, I knew there was more to come and I knew I was gonna have a couple more. I'm surprised I hadn't had a carp, to be honest. I would have thought a carp would have come in on the area at some point and um, picked up one of, the, uh, one of the rods, especially a little pop-up, but it's not happened. Um, obviously I lost that, that carp early on. I think that was actually quite a nice fish. Um, so I am quite disappointed in that, but other than that, it's been a um, it's been a nice session to be honest. I've been quite happy with it. So um, anyway, I'm going to leave it here. So uh, thanks for watching. I hope you like this uh, little sessions or res reservoir bream stroke roach fishing.
I'll um, be back on the bank again soon. If you like the video, remember to subscribe to the channel. Also, um, remember to give it a like. Um, and um, we'll see you again next time. Thanks for watching, and uh, get on the bank and have a few.